welcome here i'm discussing about the translation translation is the synthesis of the protein and the main machinery of the protein synthesis is ribosome it consists of two subunit small subunit and the large subunit in case of prokaryote the small subunit is 30s and the uh, larger subunit is called the 50s while in case of the eukaryote the small subunit is 40s and the larger subunit is 60s the overall size of the prokaryotic ribosome is 70s while the uh, ribosome of the eukaryote is 80s so this is the diagram of initiation initiation is the process of uh, the process of starting the translation how the translation start in this diagram you see that here is a messenger rna its direction is from 3 prime to 5 prime direction and here is a initiation code that is aug which is the starting code and it always it always bind with the transfer rna having the methionine in case of prokaryote the methionine is formulated so it is called the f met uh, transfer rna that is called formal methionine transfer RNA. This formal methionine transfer RNA first bind with the messenger RNA along with the 30S ribosome and then the 50S ribosome bind and to make a initiation complex. This whole process is controlled and assist with the help of initiation factors that is initiation factor IF1, IF2 and IF3. All of these assist the formation of this initiation complex now the next step is that the larger subunit of the ribosome has three sites a p or e where the p site always receives the first transfer rna with the first amino acid that is called f met transfer rna so the first initiation cord is always present at the p site and while the upcoming uh, amino acid along with the transfer RNA they always come to the A site P site is called peptidyl site A site is called amino acyl site and then when the two uh, two of the uh, areas they are occupied with the transfer RNA one with the FMAT and the other with other amino acid for example in the in this diagram it is proline which is another amino acid then both the amino acid they make a bound this bound formation is called the peptide bound formation this peptide bond form in such a way that the amino acid at the P site is shifted to the A site. Now the A site has a two amino acid that is the proline and the FMAT. Both it is called the dipeptide. Now uh, this is the step that show how the uh, elongation actually occur. Uh, already I told you that the largest subunit of the ribosome has the three site A site, P site and E site. A site always receives the new transfer RNA whether it's amino acid while the P site has already a peptide chain or an already uh, the first amino acid that is called FMAT transfer RNA amino acid. So this process is assisted with the help of GTP. GTP provide the energy and convert it into GDP and so that the amino acid is loaded on the uh, on the ribosome and amino acid they enter into the A site according to their uh, three nucleotide sequence that is present on the transfer RNA. This sequence is called anticodon and this uh, the sequence alternate that is complementary uh, to the anticodon present on the messenger and is called the codon both of these match and after their matching the GTP assess the binding of the new transfer RNA and when the new transfer RNA bind then there is a bound formation between the uh, amino acid present at the A site and the amino acid present at the P site and then the chain is shifted towards the A, P side is empty, then the messenger RNA move three nucleotide forward, A side is converted into P side, the P side is converted into E side, like this in this cycle, this is the bound formation, then this is the shifting, 
A side is converted to P, B side is converted into E. The whole cycle repeat again and again until and unless the A side has a stop chord. The stop chord that is UAA, UAG and UGA. This is another diagram that show you how the elongation occur that now you see that this is the P side this is the A side P side has a met amino acid and then the bound formation between the A side amino acid and P side that is the A side has a met transfer uh, P side has a met transfer anion and A side has a VAL that is the valine there is a bound formation then both the amino acids shifted from P towards the A like this they P towards the A and then A is converted into P P is converted into E and then again the whole step will repeat again and again last step of the translation is called the termination termination happen when the A side has the uh, stop code that is U A A U A G and U G A in this diagram it uh, this stop code is called the uh, U A G for example and uh, the releasing factor help the help to recognize the this uh, stop codon and there are three releasing factor R F one R F two and R F three each for one stop code and once uh, as stop code are the nonsense code because uh, there is no transfer RNA with the amino acid for this stop code so the protein is stopped uh, the protein formation uh, step is stopped and terminated at this step and the releasing factor help to release all the uh, material all the uh, operators of the cycle that is messenger and a small subunit large subunit and this is a chain that is called the polypeptide chain it is also released so the uh, termination occurred in this method and there is another diagram that show the termination number one step as you see that there are the three stop, stop codes UAG, UAA, UGA you have to learn these three stop codes and the direction of the messenger RNA is 3 prime to 5 prime direction this one is the releasing factor releasing factor attached when these one of these stop port uh, enter at the A site normally A site has a normal code uh, of the amino acid but when uh, any of these three come in this area then the releasing factor attach and stop the translation and then next up the releasing factor hydrolyzes the bound between the transfer RNA in the P site and the uh, last amino acid of the peptide chain usko they remove kar deta hai. like this is the chain is removed this is the uh, all the other uh, this is the empty transfer RNA without the chain and this is the polypeptide chain they are released and they are free the ribosome is also free and ribosome is break into or split into small and larger unit and all are separated so in this process the termination of the translation occur hope you people understand the whole process of the translation good luck